playing now, we're going to speak to the brilliant Kate. Now, Kate was involved in last year's Make a Difference Awards. Kate, can you tell us a little bit about what you did last year? Absolutely. I'm a bit nervous about this quiz, but yes, um, I set up um, a Ukrainian hub in Warrington for Ukrainian refugees from all across the Northwest to have somewhere to feel safe, to meet other people, but learn English. We do lots and lots of things. So we meet every Sunday, every Wednesday, um, and we look after approximately 300 registered refugees with us. How amazing. Now, hey, what an incredible job you've been doing there. First of all, don't worry about the quiz. We've got it. We've got each other. It's the first time <laughs> I'm doing this quiz as well. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be in it together. Uh, tell us then, what, what was it like when, and I know many people have told you before how, how wonderful it is what you're doing, but what was it like when you were up for the Make a Difference Awards? Um, for me, um, it was amazing for the team of volunteers as well as myself to have that recognition of the really hard work that we put in. Um, it's a really wonderful time to celebrate so many people's efforts. Um, and I think for us, um, we went from having no charity um, in existence to there being a need really, really quickly and then that need really changing over time. So to just have a moment to stop and reflect and say, wow look at what actually was achieved just made it really special and how's your work been recently kate um challenging as well because um obviously with things changing we've got um lots of um refugees looking for homes Mm -hmm. actually thinking is this going to be a bit longer than we thought so there's a lot of mental health and emotional things going on for people as well as the practical support um a lot of children you know it's really changed for them how they're growing up a lot of estranged from from dads, husbands for a very long time now. Um, and obviously we've also got to the point where we're at the two year mark and you know the visas were for three years and that oh. felt like a long time back then, but we're hitting the two year mark. So it's very emotional at the moment. So you're getting, you, you know, the work is just as busy as ever. Oh, okay, we, we thank you very much for, for continuing to do what you do. And just for spending a little few moments with us on the radio, uh, a question then for, for people who are listening, because the uh, Make a Difference Awards uh, nominations are now open and will close on Sunday the 10th of March at 11pm. Uh, the winners will be announced at our Make a Difference Awards ceremony in September. But for, for people listening now who know someone as special as you are Kate how much did it mean to you and they should definitely go out there and nominate someone shouldn't they oh 100% for me when I heard that we were nominated for it um, it just it just really was that recognition and I think there's so many people that are doing some really special and amazing things in their community um, that aren't looking for that thanks actually and um, I think that's what also makes them really special but actually allowing them to reflect and realize that the difference they've made um it just is hugely impactful and i think it brings an awareness to everybody else as well about you know there's a lot of doom and gloom in the world isn't there but actually it really brings an awareness of the kindness and that there's a lot of special people out there as well so 100 percent, go out and nominate people it really makes a difference Kate, how wonderful. Couldn't put it better myself. So if you fancy doing that and nominating someone, you can do so by going to bbc.co.uk forward slash make a difference. Are you ready to go on this little date then, Kate? Um, yeah. Right, I'm really be worried about so it. sound. I'm really good at quizzes. Now listen, you get, I'm going to ask you a question and obviously the answer will always be a year. If you get the right decade, you get 10 points. If you get the right year, an extra five points on top. It's as easy as that. Are you ready for this? Yeah, go on. Okay, I'll take the question slowly. A new film reflecting the life and the music of Bob Marley comes out uh, this week. uh, And one of his biggest hits was Could You Be Loved? When do you think it was released? Okay, that's why I think that's got to be a while ago. Maybe the year I was born or near to that. Let's go, let's go 80s actually. Let's go okay. 80s. Uh, nice, nice. Okay, right. Great, great decade. You, can you take a guess of the year as well? Um, well, because I, I was nearly going to say 70s, so I, but then I, let's go 1980. Let's go the start of it. Brilliant. You've got to give away your age there, Kate. You don't sound any younger than 30. Uh, right, next <laughs> time we'll go. See, it's a date, you see. I've got to flirt on it. Next one we'll go. Chris Rock. Uh, the, do you know Chris Rock? He celebrates his birthday today. He starred in the film called Grown Ups. Have you watched Grown Ups? Okay. I have. When yeah. do you think it came out, Grown Ups? That's the question number two. Oh, Oof. it's 
yeah, it's not that long ago, as in, like, you know, I'm, yeah. I've just turned 50. There you go. So, no um, way, 50? Yes, I did. Been? Big birthday at the beginning of January. Um, let's go... Um, not this... Maybe about... Tw- I'm thinking 2011, but maybe 20. 20- 10, 2010. Let's lock that in. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm just laughing because we're on a great date. Uh, right, a little later on in the show today. <laughs> I'm enjoying the I'm day. really loving it. A little later on in the show today, I'll be joined by celebrity chef and uh, Master Chef presenter John Chirod. When did the first ever episode of Master Chef in the oh, UK I love air? Chef. That's amazing. I wish I could cook like them. I know. Um, well, I can, I you know. know. That's why I'm, I'm cooking up a little oh, bit. Oh, can you? I'm a bit of something. Why are we not going on a date with Kate, you? Kate, I've got a little bit of something, something rustling up in the background here. <laughs> I have, yeah. Oh, well, that's exciting. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I definitely didn't watch it growing up. So that's the 70s and 80s gone. I'm yeah. trying to think. Uni. Did I watch it at uni? I'm going to go 90s. Okay, 90s. Okay, and, and would you want to put a precise year on that? Let's go 91. 91, brilliant. Lock that in. Okay, right, here we go. Question number four. We're doing really well here. Uh, comedian Peter <laughs> Kay is <laughs> at... I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sick. P- Peter Kay, the comedian from Bolton, is at the A Arena yeah. again this weekend. When was he born? Oh, it's good, isn't it? I think oh, the 40s. Oh, here we go. I what think we think I think he's near my age. Do you think he's I older or younger than you? Do you think he's older or younger than you? I think he's my husband's age. I think he was a, see my husband's in Bolton. I think <laughs> what's, what's, yeah. What was the point we put an effort into this <laughs> filet oh, mignon? Well, come on. Right, put well, it in the bin. Fair. Just don't tell him he's not. Put it in the bin. bin. Right, that's the, um, that's that meal gone. I think he was I think he's my husband's age because Matthew's from Bolton and I think I'm seventy four, Matthew's seventy. I'm gonna go seventy, seventy three. Brilliant, lock that in. Okay, next up. Here we have it. On the way before four, we're gonna be hearing this. Yeah, you can say now this is the brilliant Texas and say what you want you love Texas I'll tell you what Kate if you can tell me when this was released the decade and then the year I think you're doing pretty good at the minute it's 90s because it was when I was at uni yeah it was during that time I went to uni 96 I'm going to go 90 it's 96 or 97 which one do I go with which one are you going to go? <laughs> uh, which... 97 I'm going to go 97 lock 97 in Kate this has been a brilliant day uh, I have got your answers on the way and I can tell I'm you I'm sweating you do not have to worry about anything let me play some Lewis Capaldi I'll come back with you because wow we. she's done unbelievable <laughs> Let's go dating on BBC Radio Manchester. Uh, we are dating, and we are dating with the brilliant Kate, who's still on the line. How are you doing, Kate? I'm all right. I'm sweating though. Don't be daft. What are you worrying about? Now we're supposed to be on a date, but Kate revealed she's got a husband halfway through. That's not as human. Oh. Uh, but do you know what, Kate? You did unbelievably well like I, I'm, yeah, really? I was there like you know because i'm only on today uh, uh covering on drive so you're sort of my contestant so i was buzzing when you were getting them right and you were here there and everywhere but i was like stay there you've got this so for example you talked about bob marley i asked you when did the tune could you be loved come out and you were like oh uh, just casually just went from 1980 i mean uh yeah correct Bang on! No so not only did you get the decade, you got the precise year. I uh, moved on to Chris Rock, and he was in that film Grown Ups. And then you were um and ah in between 2011 and 2010, and you went, I'll stick with 10. You're correct again! So you've got no 15 way. points there. Uh, headed over to the John Road talking about MasterChef, and when the first ever episode of that came on the telly. Two years you floated between uh, was 1990 and 1991. The decade was correct, but you were just one year out. It was 1990, but you still get 10 points for saying 1991. So we're doing really well. Okay. Headed over to Peter K, and this was the answer that uh, uh, you told me your hus- you got a husband, which I'm still fuming about. But you, <laughs> I was asking when do you think Peter K was born. 
And what was I'm your reason on that? About this one. What was your I'm reason? I'm confident about this because Matthew's from Bolton. Yeah. And I'm sure Peter Kay was in Matthew's year at school and Matthew's 1973 and 74. You've got bang on 15 points. Absolutely amazing. And then I played you the little clip of Texas. Uh, and what was your reasoning behind why you gave me the year 1997? Because of university, and I loved Texas at uni. So, and to be fair, years a guess, but I knew it was ninety. Well, not only are you brilliant at what you do, Kate, you got fifteen points on that as well, meaning you no are way. in the lead with a total of seventy, <laughs> and only five points dropped just for one year out. Yay! You absolutely, I don't know what have I got. What have I got on my soundboard that I can give you? Oh, a little fanfare. Let's see. Yeah. Get him, Kate. Thank get him. You. Kate, thank you very much for joining Yay. us. But the most important thing you've done is been part of our Make a Difference Awards. And I just want to let people know you can nominate someone to be part of it at bbc.co.uk forward slash make a difference. Kate, what are you up to oh, now? Thank you. Um, I am actually driving home from um, Surrey. I've been in Surrey all day. Oh, so I'm um, back, back, to, back to Manchester. And yeah, I second that. Go and nominate somebody who's been amazing. Thank you, Kate. Safe journeys back. Let's go dating.